So, uh, our mission today, take off from Minyan Verdi and support our forces in their taking of makeup. Um, got a light company um, sized element um, that are attacking into makeup. Um, it's been lightened up recently uh, by um, artillery attack and friendly uh, light airstrike. Um, the attack will be a th kind of a three-pronged affair coming in from the north, attacking in and capturing the airfield, attacking in from the uh, from the north east and holding short, and attacking from the south and holding short. Uh, all we need to do is support our forces to the outskirts of uh, Makeup. Um, once we're the, once they're at the outskirts, uh, they will consolidate and will continue the advance with infantry support. Um, so, all we need to do is, like I say, support them to the to the uh, initial point at the outskirts. To do that, we go. We expect to come across um, a light platoon uh, T-72 element uh, defending the runway as well as a um, as well as a um, logistics and early warning radar um, area which is uh, actually uh, actually on the runway apron uh, there are various light mechanized and um, light armored units uh, in the outskirts of makeup again uh, expect some light T-72 presence, but most of it's going to be um, medium mechanized and light mechanized um, armor units. So they expect lots of BTRs, lots of uh, BRDMs, that kind of thing, some infantry forces, um, some light flak, um, no man pad is expected. Any questions? Nope. Okay. Uh, our, our forces that we're supporting, um, each of these waves uh, comprises a uh, armor platoon of main battle tanks uh, supporting a um, BTR-80 uh, platoon. Our forces are 80s. Our forces are BTR-80s. And their forces are uh, BTR-82s? Uh, 80s and 82s. Uh, okay, but... so there there are allies that have the same vehicles. Yes. As the enemies. Okay. Yes. Um, so it's going to get interesting. Yes. Uh, we're going to have to be careful to ma to watch our targets and mark our targets. I'll be taking some marking smoke to assist in target identification. I suggest that everyone else takes at least a little bit of marking smoke as well. Um, expect um, enemy air to be in the area. Um, we know that Makeup is a Albatross um, base uh, and that the enemy forces also use uh, MiG-21s which are stationed further afield. Um, so bring self-defense. Uh, one holding shot runway through is there. Two, right Four behind rolling. you. Anyone got a takeoff or? I'm waiting for you guys to come along. Um, behind the 21 is taking traffic. Well, taxi behind it then. Oh, yeah, I am behind it, but it's too slow. Let's see if the cannon would pass my 5 So it looks like uh, waypoint one. Yep, step point one is the um, is the runway. Okay. If you don't like about the A10 is the cut. Right, since the runway's got the biggest concentration of armor and it's got the enemy early warning radar station, that's going to be our main target. Understood. Once we've taken out the only one in radar station and softened up the T-72 resistance, uh, we can then split up and look for clues in the rest of the uh, 
than the rest of the town. Here's an interesting little bit of aviation trivia. Sure. The, the clock in the A-10, mm-hmm. that's the exact same clock the Blackhawks use. Yeah. Works. Why not just use something you already have in stock, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just it's... something a lot of people don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Yeah. It's like uh, the uh, majority of military vehicles, trailers, and... Uh, Towed artillery pieces that had tail lights. The tail lights are all the same. Yep. On all the vehicles. Unless they're Raytheon, because Raytheon likes profit. <laughs> yeah. A chunk of the stuff that we work with is like, why is this not mill standard? Well, you see, there's like this whole engineering reason we really don't want to get into. <laughs> Why does this cost two hundred dollars? Well, there's this whole procurement thing that we don't want to get into. Yeah, it's it's a whole it's the whole non-standard part thing. You can't possibly right? have a standard part doing a non-standard job, even though it's a tail it's light. It's a tail light. <laughs> <laughs> it's like light switches used to be the same light switch over and over again for like sixty years. Me cars. Yeah, like armored vehicles and trucks and everything all have the same light switches. Mm-hmm. It's like the blackout yep. and all the stuff. Yeah. One taking active, oh. one way through zero. I'll uh, take up on the right. Making, are they planning of making any of the military vehicles with, you know, like smart lights where you actually don't need a knob? Except maybe mm, if you want to turn them off. I know of. No, because it's just asking for some Muppet to forget to put the blackout on. I mean, there's a dip yeah. beam in the middle of a war zone. As a detent pin, you have to, or a detent button, you have to press to rotate the uh, light switch so yep. that you don't accidentally go white, the white light instead of blackout. It would be quite disastrous. You see it? Okay, so when we take off, guys, uh, five degree climb out, uh, we'll make 180 knots, still point one, uh, 5,000 feet. Two. You okay with that, Mish? Yep, it's falling, you guys. Okay, uh, seven seconds uh, interval, one spool in the holding. Two green jet. And release. Two rolling. Two rolling. And rotate. Four rolling. One gear. That was bad. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You hit the tail? No. Nope. I just hit the wash and it kind of threw me around a little while I was trying to bring the gear up. But I'm airborne. Also airborne. Gear up. Four airborne, gear up. Okay, I'll tell you left on step. Half popped. She's taking up combat spread. Yep, go combat spread, guys. Four ID, two BTRs underneath trees. Uh, just uh, 
north, uh, correction, south of the radar. I'll lock them up. So what do you want me to hit at the airport so we don't go on the same target? Given that you're in an A and we're a bit of ways away, uh, there's nothing for you to target yet. Um, so wait for the guys to do their strike and then we'll go for targets for opportunity on what we see as, he, as we get closer. Did you bring any uh, uh, Margaret? I did, I brought six. I just remembered that you just brought a big pile of bombs. Uh, right, near. In the briefing, uh, near the early warning radar, uh, there is a set of tents and trucks. Uh, you can target those. All right, I see uh, two BTRs that are over next to, looks like a refueling pad with some trucks. Okay. I'm gonna start with them. They're maybe... Are there 300 okay, meters? I've to the left. I've got the ones targeted underneath the trees by the buildings. I see a refueling pad as well. It's uh, farther west of the yeah. uh, of my trees. Miles, is that the way? A couple of uh, BRDMs uh, north of the uh, tents. Say again, Mish. How far is that away from us? Uh, Twenty miles. Oh, okay. That's why I don't. Did I have to use Master Arm, or is it already off? It, it's a, you're in FC3, so there's no such thing as Master Arm. Okay. Just remember how to switch to single bomb instead of a pair. Come I on, lock, lock the thing. It's the smaller Maverick, right? Yeah. So, what's the range of it? Same like the big one, or...? Yeah. Similar. So it's about nine miles ish before you can get a proper walk. Yeah. Yeah, about eight miles. Yeah, just with such a large target, it seems a bit silly. Well, I think I see the friend. Is that the friendly forces to the one o'clock? Might be like two o'clock for you, welcome. No tally. Big chevron of uh, ground vehicles moving. Probably. A Chevron or a V? It's like a V. Yeah, it'll be, they'll be in V formation. Okay. Heh. <laughs> For whatever reason, it's not allowing me to target the early one radar station, only the things next to it. Yeah, I'm passing over advancing ally forces now. Okay. Uh, okay, Misha. Uh, right on our nose, do you see the early warning radar? The one with the tents? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Rifle? That's, that's your target. That's your target. Alright. Welcome. Rifle. Turning to the south. What did you guys rifle at? Rifle. Uh, I am shooting at BTRs. Yeah, antenna? All right. BTRs. Not around the antenna. No. Rifle. 
when you guys have done your rifle pass, if you could head back out to the east, and I'll turn in. Try and mop up whatever you guys Rifle. RWR is... yeah, I see it. Pretty sure that's it. Rifle breaking right. Multiple shacks, BTR. Lord, one, one. Hold on. Hawk, one, four. Request picture. Hawk, one, four. Overlord, one, one. Clean. Uh, one plane in the air. Say again? One plane in the air. Just took okay. off. Okay, go ahead to air, guys. To ground. Alright, push air to ground. Air, air, air. Uh, I think I have visual. Okay. Do you know which side of the runway it took off from? Uh, it looks like it is on the uh, Wait, I'm north on side. What's two? One, the, kill thirty-nine. There's uh, is oh, that you one. on his tail? Second one. Second one behind me. Second one behind me. Yep, Two's I'm off. I'm cycling in. For Cali, too far away. Okay, everyone, start flaring. I have a, I have a, I have a solution. Well, Kane, Fox two. Splash. Uh, all right, switch back to. Push head uh, to ground. My bombs. Well done, guys. Is everyone okay? Yeah. Yep. For Roger. Okay. Let me get you already destroyed. Okay. Fucking rifle. Spike 21. Switching to air to, uh, to, uh, Badwinder. Fucking rifle. Walking rifle. Turning out to the east. Two times twenty-one now. Four rifle. Breaking oh, left. One, one. Hawk, one, four. Request bogey dope. I think I have visual on them. Hawk, one, four. Overlord, okay. one, one. Clean. We'll Active overlord. twenty-one spikes. I, I see the twenty-ones. Eyes on twenty-one. Push out to go ahead, guys. Box two. Working. Locked up. It's one. Good splash. Well done. Hit the other one. Have Negative. I have visual. I think I have one. On my nose. He's out over the urban area. Not to the south. To the north. You sure? Uh, I, have a, I, have a, I have a red aircraft out to the south. Correction, okay. to the north, to the north, it's your target. Yep. Careful not to hit me, please. Thank you. I, yep. I saw you break right. I'm going to close the visual before okay. I engage. I think I have a solution. Welcome, flaring. I will I will let you attack it. Okay, he's going too fast. There's no chance I've got range on that. We're about to see you, Blue. I'm still closing on him. Okay, I think I see you ahead of me. Blue, can you pop a flare, please? Yeah, that's you. I'm still pursuing. Yeah. Bandits popping flares. Box two. Well done. Splash. Good hit, good hit. And shoot is verified. Okay, everyone in one piece? Four, yep. Roger. Okay, push air to ground again. Let's uh, start our sweep.
Yeah, I'm going to say engage targets for opportunity at this point. Right. Uh, one in on a group of targets near a stadium. Enemy position marked with two white smoke. Pickle. Well, it's it has say how much ammo do you have left? You'll say it in the uh, bottom right of the hood. Sorry, correction, bottom left of the hood will be a slash or whatever. Fire, kind of the core then. But the peasant on the ground, right? Welcome locked. There's a shulker down there. I think it's a shulker. A. Yeah, it's either a shulker or a tunguska if it's an A. Very much hope it's not a tunguska. Four turning in. Rifle. Rifle. All I have is marking rockets and gun now. Shack oh. two times T seventy two. I am going to attempt to land back at the base. Okay. Flying a little bit sideways. Never a good start. It's better than not flying, though. <laughs> there is that. Okay, I see an artillery post uh, to the south of the town itself, go for a gun run. Repair the arm or just land? Just land. I think we're about done. Uh, Warhog, how are you doing? 
81 rounds left. I've got a couple more uh, vehicles for this uh, artillery position and then um, RTB. Okay, Blue, how about you? I'm RTB now. Okay. I'm going to head RTB with you, Blue. So, uh, you form on me. Yeah, um... I have reduced performance in right engine, and the left engine's dead. I'll tell you what, yeah. uh, I'll form on you. <laughs> yeah. Whereabouts are you? I am outbound east of the, uh, like, due east of the target area. Okay. Oh, I see you. Climbing up through, like, 4,000 now. I did not see the tanks on the other side of the trees. No worries. Yeah, that went really badly for me. Oh, is that what got you? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell. Sorry. No, it's all good. I'll tell you what, we did a very uh, thorough number on, the, on them, though. Certainly the uh, group that's coming in from the uh, north is going to have a... Well, has an easy job of it. But quite fun to watch the attack view. Uh, what's your speed, please, Blue? I'm pegged out about 192. Uh, make sure your flaps are up. Yep. Flaps are up. Uh, I'm at 192 because I've got one engine that's making 10% RPMs and one that's at 80. I know it sounds dumb, but you have done an emergency jettison, right? No, not yet. I, I have very minimal stores. Go ahead and get rid of them, though. My left engine is 68, and my right engine is 92-ish. Not doing bad. Yeah, that's all right. That's, so perfect. That, that's, per that's perfectly serviceable. So does that mean the left one, is, the right one is perfect, the left one is little bit fucked, but working. Uh, Reduced no, performance. Yeah, to the way around. Oh, uh, so it's working. It's basically idle. Idle. Yeah. It's in the limp home mode of being just about functional. And I think That's I'm just going to keep this steady climb at like 200 knots. Yeah. So altitude will be my friend. And bring down the speed a little bit. Okay. Look, just give me a warning if you're going to use your brakes. Yeah, that's why I'm speeding down. <laughs> Using the brakes seems a little bit extreme when you got half an engine left. Yeah. I just don't feel like being 350 knots over the airfield in the A-10 either. Yeah. Especially since you have yet to bring the gear down. Right. And we're only th two and a half minutes away. Yeah, five, but we're 12 feet. miles. True, but 5,000 feet. Yep. I just don't want the drag yet. Got to. Um, I uh, went a echelon left. Oh, oh I so see I, I'm back behind your left shoulder. All right, going idle. Okay, I'm idling down with it. Gear down.
Okay, well, hug. We're, I'm going to peel off to the right. We'll do an overhead break. People with functioning engines get to do the cool stuff. Yep. So we'll uh, break right of the airfield um, and then do a full circuit and land on runway 30. Okay, look. Ten seconds between uh, between breaks. I'll go first. All right, short final uh, for one two. Okay, lead break. For break. Tailwind. Nice landing, Blue. Thank you, sir. Okay, no point. I'm shifting right, so you guys can use the runway. Okay. It's, it's weird doing a right-hand circuit. I've not done one of these for a while. Yeah, it is. Back in the day when I did gliders, I had to do right-hand circuits uh, because my knee got in the way of deploying the uh, spoilers. Four down one. Okay, two is clear of active. I have a uh, loss of hydraulics, so my steering isn't working. Okay. Lead turning base. Forward turning base.
won the finals. I'm fucking in the grass now. Altitude, altitude. No, I had a hydraulic failure. No, no brakes. No, no steering. Oh. Because my left engine was out and my landing gear must have leaked out the rest of the left fluid. I had no way to Forward build pressure. Turning final. Or we both landed in the wrong direction, by the way. Oh, I know. Man, I, I declared that. that in my plan. Screwed up that radio. And it was terrible because I, be I, you need to trim with the vertical flaps. One touch. One touch down. Uh, vertical st uh, st uh, stops. Sorry. If you give power and you start turning one way, then you need to use the vertical uh, stops to uh, counter. One going long on the left hand side. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I kite it. Four down, right hand side. Okay, one runway. I tell you what, guys, did a heck of a lot better than the first mission. Yeah, everybody survived. Yeah, well done. I really enjoyed that mission, guys. Yeah. And thanks for thanks for coming along. I had a lot of fun in this campaign. Four, runway clear.